I'm gonna show you how to create this beautiful blood visual effect in Unity 2019 with particle system and shader graph. Let's create particle system, then let's create a blood VFX material, then create shader, PBR graph, and set the shader to our material. Open the shader graph, set the workflow to specular, the surface to transparent, and switch on to sided. Then add color, connect it to our albedo, and make it red, add emission color, make it dark red, then add specular color, but it's gonna be bright red. Let's add some noise. Add simple noise. Set its scale to something like 40 and connect it to our alpha channel so that our texture become transparent in places of black spots on this simple noise. Now we have to add mask. Let's add texture to D in our properties and set a texture to default unity particle texture. Add here another node, sample texture to D and connect our mask to texture to D. Then multiply our noise by our mask so that we can subtract our mask from our noise and connect it to the alpha. Also, don't forget to set the texture inside of the inspector. It already looks like a blood spot. So let's set the smoothness and occlusion to zero, so that it become a bit darker. Let's add tilen and offset, and connect it to our UV of our simple noise. Then we have to make it move. Add time node, and connect our time to the offset of our tilen and offset. Now it moves, but it moves too fast to control its speed. Let's add a vector 1. It's called vector 1 in Unity 2019, but in later versions it's called float. Call it speed. And let's multiply our time by our speed. And now let's connect the result of our multiplication to the titan and offset offset. Set speed to something like 0.1, but it's still a bit boring. Let's add the second layer of noise. Set its scale to something like 100. Then multiply our original simple noise by our more granular simple noise. Connect it to the multiplication with our mask. Or the pattern starts to look a bit more interesting, but it lacks movement. Let's add movement to our more granular noise. Add titan and offset and connect it to our UV. We have to make it move in the opposite direction. Multiply the result of our multiplication of time by speed by minus 1 and connect to our offset. Now we have this interesting pattern, but it doesn't look like a blood. It looks just like a red smoke. To increase the thickness of our blood, we have to multiply our noise pattern by 2 so that it becomes brighter. And then increase the contrast by 3. And then connect it to our multiplication with the mask. It already looks like a blood. But to make it even a bit more volumetric, let's add normal map. To generate a normal map from what we have, add a node called normal from height and create normal from our procedurally generated blood texture. Add a node called normal strength with a value of something like 4. Connect it to the normal of our master node. You see that it looks more like a blood, but we have to make it gradually dissolve. We are going to control its dissolve by changing our alpha clip threshold. We can connect the life time of our particle to its alpha clip threshold. We are going to use custom data. Let's create a node UV. Open the inspector. Switch on custom data. And set custom 1 to vector. Now in the renderer, switch on custom vertex streams. And add tangent UV2. And finally, custom 1XYZW. Now we can use our custom data inside of our shader graph. Set UV to UV1 and split it because we need only its X value and connect its X value to our alpha clip threshold. Now you will not see any difference because inside of our custom data we have to set X value to curve and set the curve to rising curve. So the blood gradually dissolves. It disappears before it dissolves. We have to increase the strength of our dissolve effect. Let's multiply our X value of our UV by 2 and connect it back to our alpha threshold. It dissolves before its lifetime is over. Now when we have these blood particles, it has to stand out among other shaders that you have. Let's open its renderer. Use a render queue, set it to transparent and modify its value to something like 3001. Now it always stands out. Randomize its lifetime. 4 to 7. Randomize its size. 6 to 10. And randomize its rotation from 0 to 360. Set render mode to stretch billboard. Set gravity modifier to something like 2. Set its start speed. 
something between 16 and 18 and set its size over a lifetime with a curve that looks something like this. Let's set its rate over time to something around 50. Let's decrease the angle to maybe 16 or 12. Switch cast shadows to two-sided. Then we are going to add blood puddles on the ground. To switch on collision. Set collision to world. You can also specify what it collides with. I'm gonna choose that it's gonna collide with landscape, for example. That doesn't look right, you see? Set it bounce to 0 and set it lifetime loss to 1. Let's set the scale of its collider 0.1. Now we have to add surface blood. Let's copy our blood VFX. Switch off the looping. Set its speed to 0. Set simulation space to world. Set gravity modifier to 0. Switch off collision. Set the render mode to horizontal billboard. Set its emission rate over time to 0. Create a burst with count of 1. Set its shape angle to 0 and radius to 0 0.3. Switch off the shadow cast. We are going to rotate it around x axis by 90. We also have to switch off its movement because it looks weird, you see? Just copy this material and set its speed to 0. Now when we play it, it just appears like a puddle on the ground. We can add it as a child of our blood VFX. And now switch on sub emitters. Add a sub emitter on death and set it to surface blood. It doesn't even reach the ground, but it disappears. To solve this problem, we have to add a blood splash. Let's copy our blood VFX. Set its start speed to 0. Gravity modifier to 1. Shorten its lifetime. Set rate over time to 0. And set burst to 1. Set its start rotation to 3D start rotation. Set velocity over lifetime. Set it as a child of our blood VFX. Add a new sub emitter that also gonna trigger on death. Set it to our blood splash. Change the spawn shape of our blood splash. Just set its position on the y axis to minus 3. It still doesn't look right. We have to add some kind of blood cloud. So let's copy our blood VFX. In the shape, set angle to maybe 24. And increase its radius to 1.2. Switch off its renderer. Increase the size of the surface blood. Decrease its lifetime. Now let's add blood clouds. Let's modify our blood splash. Change its renderer to a billboard. And change its shape. Let's set it just a bit higher. Maybe to 2 on the y axis. Also increase its speed. Increase its size. You also have to add a source of this blood. It kinda appears from nowhere. Let's copy our blood cloud. Put it on top of the hierarchy. Set its shape angle to 64, its position to 0, and let's increase its size, also increase its speed. Now it looks just awesome. I just love this particle effect so much. I just wanna take a blood shower. Now when you have this set of particles, you can do all sorts of different variations. I hope the video was useful for you. If you like the video, share it, hit the thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe on my channel and leave the comments. Thanks for watching, see you soon!